Okay, it says the graph shows, um, the graph shown here is y equals 2x minus 1. So based on the graph, without doing any algebra right now, we're going to go ahead and do um, the three parts under part A. It says uh, when y is equal to negative 9, find the x value. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, on the y-axis, the vertical axis, we're going to go to y equals negative 9, which is right here. And to get to our graph, it looks like I have to go to the left. So right here, this is where all the action occurs. I'm going to go ahead and label it. That's got an x-coordinate of negative 4 and a y-coordinate of negative 9. So right there, that point sort of becomes our border. I'm going to go ahead and make a border there. And I'm going to call that the border. Ah, it moved. Okay, so that's my border. And now, uh, part the first part says y is equal to negative 9. What is x equals to? Well, since it's an equality, and I have to find what x is equal to, that shouldn't be that bad. I can see that in the ordered pair, when y is equal to negative 9, x is just equal to negative 4. So I'm done with that one. Uh, the next part says, when is y less than negative 9? So when is the y value less than negative 9? Basically says, if I'm at my action point right here, y's will be less than negative 9 if I go lower and not necessarily and definitely not higher. If I go higher, then the y values are going to get bigger than negative 9. So I have to go lower on this side for the y values to get smaller than negative 9 on my red line. Now it says find the solution, which means for what x values is y equal less than negative 9. Well, if I just look at my border all the way on the left, like x values negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 6.6, .6, whatever you want to call it. To the left of the border is when I have all the y values be negative. So therefore, my x's actually should be to the left of that action point, which is less than negative 4. Similarly, the third part says y has to be bigger than negative 9. So if I go and I look at this action point, the y's have to be bigger than negative 9, which means I have to go higher to get the bigger y values. And those bigger y values pretty much occur in this region as far as the x's are concerned. So it happens to the right of my border. In other words, when x is bigger than negative 4. Now, this inequality less than matches up here with this one less than and this greater than matches up with this one greater than. That's not always going to be the case, so please don't memorize that and go ahead and analyze the graph piece by piece. Now the next part of your homework, I actually wrote it down here, says um, figure out when 2x minus 1 is equal to negative 9 from the graph. Well, that's pretty much asking us the same thing that this guy was asking us. It's saying when does the line have a y value of negative 9. And all that happened there was this 2x minus 1 basically got replaced over here and this y value actually got replaced with the negative 9. So essentially it's asking you exactly the same thing that's being asked here. It's just saying when is y equal to negative 9. Here it was in terms of y but over here up above, the y is actually replaced with the actual right side of the equation, which is 2x minus 1. So the answer is still x is equal to negative 4. We don't really have to do any work here. Same thing for the second part. All we did was replace this part of the equation 2x minus 1 um, over here and make it less than 9, kind of like what? Part B is saying here, y has to be less than negative 9, and this really is our y value from up above the original equation says y is equivalent to x to 2x minus 1. So this has the same answer that x is less than negative 4, and same thing, this part is the same thing as the third part here. All we're doing is replacing this y with 2x minus 1, which is really the case here up above. So this guy says that the solution has to be x greater than negative 4.
And again, we did all of those visually. We just literally pulled it out of the graph. We could have done them algebraically in part B if we wanted to. For example, if I want to do it algebraically or symbolically sometimes it's called. If I take um, part I 2x minus 1 equals negative 9 and I solve that, notice you get x equals negative 4, which is what we had in both uh, parts uh, and the first part of them. Um, if I take the second part over here and solve the inequality, I will get x is less than negative 4. And if I solve the third part algebraically, I will get x is greater than negative 4. But instead of doing it algebraically, we just pulled it out of the graph.